planning theories Pavlov's theory of classical conditioning In 1904, Russian psychologist Ian Pavlov, experimental work on dog digestive process. Conditioning can be defined as a process in which a neutral stimulus which is not associated with any specific response on pairing with natural stimulus accords all the characteristics of natural stimulus. Ian Paulo Unconditional Stimulus UCS Food Natural Stimulus Unconditional Response UCR Solvating natural response. Conditional stimulus CS well. Conditional response CR salvation. Classical conditioning also called a stimulus substitution. Pavlov's experiment stage 1 before conditioning unconditional stimulus food unconditional response salvation conditional stimulus ringing of the bell not response not specific response stage 2 process of conditioning conditional stimulus plus unconditional stimulus Bell sound plus food. Conditional response. Stage 3. After conditioning. Conditional stimulus. Bell sound only. Conditional response. Salvation. Look at this picture. For more understanding. Paulo's experiment first before conditioning food and conditioned stimulus response salvation and conditioned response second before conditioning then neutral stimulus response 
no service no condition response third during conditioning then plus food response salvation and conditions response fourth after conditioning then conditioned stimulus response salvation conditions response extinction if conditional stimulus sound of the bell is not followed by unconditional stimulus food for few days it means there is no reinforcement stage come when dog stop to seek secrete salvation this process is known as extinction the dog land conditioning and responded accordingly laws of conditioning five laws law of causation conditioned response is established by series of continuous pairing of conditional stimulus and unconditional stimulus law of experimental extinction the immediate recovery of conditions response is called spontaneous recovery third law law of generalization once see a conditional response is established it may be elicited by stimulus similar to the original cs fourth law law of discrimination it means selective condition fifth law law of higher order conditioning second pair conditioning another natural stimulus light paulo call this phenomenon high order conditioning concept of reinforcement so this is a theory applied to reinforcement in learning define reinforcement reinforcement would be defined as the phenomenon in which a desired response when emitted is strengthened by presenting a reinforce and thereby increase the frequency of occurrence of that particular response positive and negative reinforcement what is mean by positive reinforcement it is any stimulus which when applied following 
an awkward response strengthens the possibility occurrence of that response example put water in social learning example price money recognition negative reinforcement it is any stimulus which when removed following an opponent response strengthens the probability of occurrence of that response example loud noise bright light difference between negative reinforcement and punishment reinforcement means provided before the response exhibited punishment presented after the response occurred purpose increase the probability of desired response in reinforcement but in punishment it is given to decrease the possibility of occurrence limitations complex area of generalization abstraction reasoning etc cannot be explained in this theory thank you have a nice day